Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Mods 4. This episode I'm going to go and see if we can get a raid on the village. So first of all I'd actually like to improve this armour I've got which is the new one. So what we've already done, I've already enchanted it. I enchanted it on the enchanting table first of all. So we've got some good enchants from that. And then I've stripped off some of the enchants from the, uh, well actually I've stripped them all off. The uh, previous set of armour. And we're going to add some more now. So let's get started with that, shall we? So if we have a quick look at this armour, we've got on here displacement forward. Basically that means if uh, an attacking mob will get, may get displaced and teleported away. Aqua Affinity, Night Vision, Gourmand 3 and Mending. I took most of those off the previous set. Gourmand 3, I didn't I got that from a book. On the chest plate, we've got Fire Protection, Soulbound and I'm breaking 5 for the 3. Then I added Magnet 3 to it. On, on the on the leggings we've got protection three and breaking and soulbound they actually all came from the table and on the boots we've got protection soulbound and occult aversion one so i've added shadow step four multi jump two mending and i also found another book with blazing walker three on it and that means we can walk on lava always a good thing to do but if you look at this the actual durability of this armor is reasonably low compared to the um the previous set so let's have a look at this. Here I've got some uh, some diamond helmets which we got from end cities as it happens. And these have all got on them mending. Um, this one's actually got respiration 3. But one of the mobs dropped respiration 4. Which is interesting because respiration 4 I think you could only get from uh, an ancient tomb. When you combine an ancient tomb with uh, the previous one on an anvil. You'll, well, respiration 3 and an ancient tomb. Tomb 3 will get an ancient respiration 4, which is pretty good. And this one's got Feather Falling 7, Magic Protection 6. And they all basically came from mob drops as well. So very well worth doing. So let's rip some of these stuff off. We've got enough. I think I've got enough 9 books and we've got uh, 10 graves here. I just, just use one of the graves for doing something else. So what have we got here? 3. I'll strip the last 3 off there. So the Diamond Helmet has nothing on it. So let's do the next one. The mending one I really want from this one. So let's have a look. One, two, three. So that one's done. And let's take the this one off here. I'm not sure I can afford to actually. I should be able to afford to put it on anyway, so that's fine. And then we've got two on the boots, and that'll give us nine enchantments. Let's just move these two out of the way. So we've still got a grave for some another purpose with another with the spirit still in. So there we are. So here we've got all of these uh, enchantments. So let's go and apply those now to the armor. Um, I might need to go downstairs and pick up some more um, experience candy from there. I'm not 100 percent sure. Did I leave any in one of these chests? Not in here. If I did, I'd have left it in here. In fact, actually, you've already got some ancient tombs out here uh, in here to. To show you how they do, this was be an impaling th five with an impaling five. We're going to give you an impaling six, uh, and this piercing four with a piercing four. But we could actually demonstrate that. It's thirty-five XP to do any of these, so you'll see it's thirty-five P, and you only get experience piercing five. Okay, piercing four. Yes, that's right. And I think piercing four is actually the top level. It must be, otherwise you wouldn't get the ancient two. Let's put those two back. And I do need to go down and get some more. I'll come back in a second where I've got some more experience candy. Right, I've got some experience candy. We don't need that just to start with. Well, we do actually. We need to find out how much it's going to cost to say put on to here respiration four. So it's going to cost 35 um, XP. So let's get that 35 into into ourselves as it were. So best thing to do is <laughs> it goes very fast. <laughs> and I think we should we only stop as soon as we get to 35. Um, there we go, like that. And then we can actually then enchant these two. Then we're not wasting any XP doing other stuff. So then it has respiration four on this. Of course, with the with the previous armor, we had that built into the armor itself. So I think that's a pretty good one. We'll also put onto this one here mending because we, as I said, the armor is pretty weak. So we only need three for mending. So that's not too bad. Nine already fast, uh, but he doesn't use it to all up, of course, when you do this mending. So, this chest plate's now got that fire protection, fire soul bound. I think it'll do. So, it's got soul bound on it as well. This one hasn't got soul bound on it, 
but I'm hoping not to die. We haven't been dying recently anyway, so let's just get the other stuff off there. Um, let's put those two back on here. Now this one needs mending, and this one's already got mending on it. So let's have a look. So the next one we need is mending, and they're probably going to cost about three. Oh, it's two in this case, like this one. And this has got protection for soul bound. And the boots have already got mending on, so we don't need to do anything with the boots. But I would quite like to put on here Feather Falling 7. I think oh, it's 35 again. So we can do that, no problem. So let's put Feather Falling 7. In fact, the Shadow Step 4 has also got Feather Falling as a protection anyway. It protects you from Feather Falling. But more is the better, I suppose. So let's get our 35 layers again, levels again. In fact, the mob, the mob farm is doing quite well at the moment. It's, um, it's not too bad at all. Since I've been lighting up all those mines below the base, it's actually started to improve itself quite a lot. So now we've got Feather Falling 7 on there. Blaze Walker 3 is pretty decent enchants on these things. And the rest of them, Magic Protection, Respiration, Protection 4, Displacement and Protection 3. Now, is there any piece of armor that could have some protection on it? This one has got 4. We could add Protection 4 and 4, and that would give us a... F oh, that's Magic Protection 4. Could add those together. Let's have a look, see how much that costs. 6. And that would then give us Protection 5. The boots, boots have got Protection 4. And what else have we got on his hair? This has got fire protection five, and this has got no protection whatsoever. Let's try that. Let's try putting the helmet and get some protection on that. So protection four costs eleven. Actually, that's not too bad. We'll do that one. So let's get to eleven X levels of XP. There we go. That's pretty quick too. So let's do these two. So now that's got protection four in it. So we should be reasonably well protected and. And that didn't cost too much in the way of stuff, did it, in terms of experience candy. So let's put the experience candy away. I think I'm going to put it in here for the time being. And I'll also put these books in there. I don't need these books for now, do we? So that's good. These two are sort of junk armour, which are now junk. But I could combine them, for example, golden boots and golden boots together, uh, which I tend to do anyway because it's, it's quite useful. You can actually use those if you look at the uses of those to make some gold nuggets. Not very much in terms of gold nuggets. Anvil, you can repair them with that. Okay, right, one gold nugget isn't really probably worth it, but you know. And this one here, helmets, I haven't got any more space for helmets in it, but I could repair these two and make one space. <laughs> Let's do that. Shields are quite handy, actually. I should take a shield with me as it happens. I'm not enchanting shields because whenever I enchant sh shields, the game crashes, which is pretty bad. <laughs> I don't like that at all. So now all my armor's got mending on it, so we should be able and night vision, so we should be able to trundle off and go to a pillager outpost, which is what I'm going to do next. What time of day is it? Night time. I'll have a quick sleep and I'll come back in a second. Right, we're ready. Let's go to the pillager outpost and see where we go to. I've also got a return scroll with me as well. Oh right, you do come very close to one. <laughs> oh, there's a pillager over there. But we've got pretty good weapons anyway, so let's just get rid of these guys. Even the boat, this is, this is a sort of a standard vanilla bow, is pretty decent. What I need to do, of course, is to get the um, a flag bearer. I'm only going to do one level. I don't think we need to go up any more than that. Where are they all? Oh, here's one. And of course, this will also be repairing my armor as I'm doing this sort of stuff. Right, there's a few guys down here. No flag bearers, though. I can't see any flag bearers. Which presumably means I've got to get in here somewhere. It's a bit of lag while I'm doing this as well. Don't ask me why. Oh, this one. What have we got here? Well, here's a doorway. A 
strange. I'm expecting to find a few mobs around, <laughs> but not seen any yet. Right, what have we got in here? Dark oak wood, a uh, few odd bits of iron and stuff. I'll take that anyway. I'll also take the chest as well at the same time. Well, that's a bit strange. <laughs> there must be one around somewhere. Let's just see if we can find one of these guys. I said, because for the more of these I'm going to shoot down, the better it will be. Where are they all? Well, that's strange. There's another one hiding up there. Look. Missed him. But still no flag bearers. Hmm. Not what I expected, I will be honest. Can I get him and not get the sheep? That's the question. Yep. Well, I'll, have, I'll come back and I think I'll come back in a minute or two when I find one. <laughs> They're strange. There's plenty of villages around, but not very many. As he wants to come up here, but he can't get out. Very good. Hmm. Okay. I'll see you in a few minutes. Right. Found one. It took quite a long time to find him, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. But there's a few of them around here, that good. He's running like crazy. Right, I've got it. So then we can go back to the village now. Yes, I've got it. It lasts quite a long time, this enchanted anyway, so we can happily sort out these last guys before we're, while we're here. And you'll notice also that all my armour has now repaired itself, and of course the bow is repaired. Right. So let's get this into that's now done. We could actually put a marker down here to say pillager. Base is actually 1600 blocks. So let's just quickly make a marker here. Um, I spelled that wrong. Never mind. It'll do fine. Let's go back to base. Oh, wrong place. Never mind. <laughs> I've come out by the fortress. I didn't check where it was, did I? I should have another one in my bag anyway, so let's go back. And I should have one of those dimensions. There. One usage left, that's the one I want. The other is the same. So <laughs> I should some find a way of labelling those. It would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Alright, a backup base. So now we need to go and visit that village. And it might be a good idea to put to get a bit of lag um to get the jet back out now where have i put the jet back i think it's probably in one of these oh it'll be in the charging station of course yes not hopper i think the charging station is not that one i actually created a separate one didn't i for it yes exactly no here we go so that's fully charged up so actually it's being charged from this one which is also a tier 5 solar panel right so I shall see you when we get to the village right I'm just approaching the village and they'll come to the moat here and they basically have to go just get out of here now like that and then get onto here and then we shouldn't the village shouldn't start the raid until I actually get into the village and that'll start now and nearly always there are two places where the mobs are going to be spawning one is over here um in this corner over here quite often they come over here so what we do is we go to the middle of this village somewhere and press z on the map so now the raid started and we should be able to see them coming so they're coming that way now the village is perfectly safe because they can't get in and you'll see what because of the moat they just can't get in here at all. It's too high for them to jump over. So they all end up falling into this trough down here like this. Uh, they want to go and try and shoot me, of course, but they probably can. Oops. Oops, I have to get up on the wall here. 
and you'll notice that right so that's the first raid done let's quickly go down here and just pick up that stuff that i just dropped now the next raid will probably come from the same position but there are two places so i'm going to wander back towards the middle of the village again so we can press z for zoom okay now we should be around about here now this time they're coming from somewhere else by the looks of it yes you can see they've actually spawned inside the village so we can sort them out pretty quickly fortunately where are the others haha <laughs> this is bad actually i didn't want them to spawn inside the village but where are they all there's the flag there is one now he's being attacked by done so it's him out good there's one over there as well i've got to be careful i don't kill any villagers while i'm doing this of course right that raid is sorted out so that's the second layer of raids Let's come back into the, into the middle of the village and press Z again and see where they're coming from this time. I think they will be coming from here. Here we go, look. And this is good because this time they can't get in. <laughs> As you can see, I'd probably need to get on the wall, but it's probably better to go over here and get on the wall. Now this time they can't attack the villagers. And from here, it's very easy to actually attack the mobs. They can't. They can't get you. Three shots, four shots this time, is it? Okay. So this is level there. Uh, level three, uh, raid three, isn't it? Right, that's that one done. So, where are they this time? Over there. Okay, good. The best place for them, as it happens, because it's so easy to attack them down here. Where did I see them? <laughs> Dropping saddles. Oh, yes, there. Missed. Try again. From here, I probably can even shoot some of these as well. There you go. This time we get witches. And you'll see they can't get through because of the water. The water's pushing them back nicely. This time they've got um, magic protection, I guess. Well, that sorted out them as well. So, they, so this should be the last of the raids now. So where are they this time? Let's come back over here. It's best if they don't come into the middle of the village. Press Z on the map and see where they're coming from. This time it looks like they're coming from here again. Yep, yeah, they are good. So we're perfectly safe. <laughs> Even with them riding on those things, they can't get in. And they all fall into the into the moat, as you see. And from here, you just stand on the walls and just shoot them. <laughs> so easy. Now that one's got a, that fox is still managing to survive. I don't know how it does that, but we are. They do have a tendency to walk towards the centre of the village as well. Whoops. Iron Golem is attacking them in the village, which is interesting. Probably get killed that Iron Golem.
Oh, he did. Raid victory, there we go. So now we'll get things thrown at us, of course. <laughs> and the fireworks will go off. Where are the fireworks? I heard the fireworks. Now I'm here with the village. Unfortunately, what I didn't do. <laughs> Very silly. Uh, I didn't actually bring anything to trade with me. I've got a little bit of stuff to trade, but not very much. Some rotting, some paper, basically. But we could go back and get some. See what they're actually trading. Let's have a look, because we get discounts on everything. This one's doing lots of. Um, what's he doing? Melons, always a good one. Melons and pumpkins, three. And I don't think I've got anything in my bags here that are actually useful. But melons, we can quickly go back. So let's just take this and put the jetpack on here and then let's press space we can travel over to base really fast as you can see this jetpack is really o OP <laughs> so melons I'll have down in here let me just turn the jetpack off now because I can't get it down to turn the back jetpack off is just B I think oh, not B um, v. Yes, it's off. Energy off. So now, melons will be stored in here. And I have quite a lot of melons. So I could do that. But, you know, it's, we've done trading before, so there's really not much point in doing it again. So I will see you next time. So that's it for this episode. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Testing out the new armor is working pretty well, but it didn't really get attacked very much, so it's difficult to see how effective it is. Next time, I'm not sure. I suppose we should do, because I've done everything back to front in this series so far. I've done the end cities, and then I did the ender dragon, and then I haven't done the, the wither, so I should probably go and do the wither. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now. <laughs>